All right, guys. Uh, good afternoon. It is 1.20. Uh, this is the first official filming of myself. Um, we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to, first of all, say I miss you guys a lot. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, my first period, man, you guys are so awesome. Uh, I miss the dynamic. The very first class, well, after my leadership class, uh, you guys coming on in, uh, talking about your day uh, from the previous day and learning some math and of course, our usual antics. Um, this is the first, you know, I'm not gonna edit this. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. If I stutter or mess up or say a corny joke, oh, I do owe you guys dad jokes because it's after spring break now. Okay, um, anyway, so this week, we're gonna be focusing on the midpoint formula. So I'm gonna do a couple things with the video. Uh, I probably pick it up. I might just like film myself doing stuff on the board. Um, the midpoint formula, it's pretty simple. We're gonna start pretty simple. The midpoint formula tells us the exact coordinate point of a line. So if we have two endpoints, I'll, I'll blow this up a little bit, a little bigger. If we have two endpoints on a coordinate plane, this midpoint formula will tell us exactly where the exact middle of that line is, right? So the endpoints, we're gonna be given coordinates. And remember, the endpoints are usually an X value and a Y value. So you'll have a X value and a Y value. The X always comes first because it's alphabetical, right? That's how I remember it, X comma Y. So if we have a coordinate point X comma Y right here, a coordinate point X comma Y right here, then we will know for sure what the midpoint of that line segment is. Now, midpoint is very important because going forward, obviously in Integrated Math 1, we're starting at that foundation level, right? And then everything that we learn, and I know I kept saying this throughout the year, everything that we learn is just adding to that foundation, right? Preparing you for the future times. Finding the midpoint is necessary because when you guys start geometry in Integrated Math 2 or other graphing in Integrated Math 3, you're gonna need to know what the middle, what the midpoint of lines are. Right? They're important for bisections and everything like that. So we're gonna be starting with the midpoint first, okay? All right, so there's the introduction to the midpoint. Very simple, I like it. There should be no confusion about it. Midpoint is the point in the middle of a line, okay? All right, so I'm gonna pick up the, the thing. I'm gonna show you guys something. I think you'll like this. By the way, um, I'm, I'm on social media now, I have to be. I hate social media, but you know what? It's the wave of the future. Everyone follow uh, the new official Marysville High School activities page. It's at, oh God, at Marysville High School underscore ASB. Just, just, just search for it. I mean, it'll be pretty simple, all right? This is great, it's like, it's like we're all together again. You just see my smiling face and my white teeth. Oh, can I not flip it? See, I don't even, I don't know technology. Okay, uh, these guys miss you. Look, class is in session. And, and little Cubby brought the whole gang, the whole gang's here. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can flip the, um, wait, what does this do? That doesn't do anything, okay, never mind. Sorry guys, I, I, you can tell I don't film myself very often. Okay. okay, here we go. What you'll need to know uh, for the assignments, it's just midpoint assignments, is the midpoint formula. This is the biggest one, okay? Um, it is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, okay? You're going to get an x value and a y value, all right? And that's okay. You're not going to get just one thing. You're going to get one X and one Y, because obviously the midpoint of a line is a coordinate pair, so it's gonna be an X comma Y. Don't let the little ones and twos bother you, okay? It's kind of like point slope form last semester, if you remember that. Don't let the ones and twos bother you. They're just telling you, hey, use the first X, use the second X, use the first Y, use the second Y, okay? This is where a lot of people get confused. A lot of people will add the X and the Y, don't do that. Take the two x's, add them together, and then divide by two. Take the two y's, add them together, divide by two. 
okay? The X's go together, the Y's go together, okay? Let's make an example. Um, who can I call out? Let's see. Josh, what's your favorite number between uh, five and six? Seven, okay. Seven. That's my X value. Uh, let's see. Jacob, what's your favorite number between one and three? Two? Okay. There's my first coordinate pair. Seven, comma, two. Okay. Um, there. My second coordinate pair. Let's see. Mm, Annika, what's your favorite number between negative one and negative five? Negative three. Okay, deal. Comma. Uh, let's see what else. I'm looking around. Whoever makes eye contact with me, I'll call on you. Danica, what's your favorite number between 6 and 11? 8? All right. Cool. There we go. So let me back out a little bit. We have our first endpoint at 7, 2. We have our second endpoint at negative 3, 8. We want to find the middle of these two endpoints. So between these two points is a line. We find the very middle of that line by using the midpoint formula, okay? All right, so I'm going to start. Here's my x1. Uh, all right, I'm going to underline my first x. That's a 7. I'm going to double underline my second x. Oh, cool. Well, if my first x is 7, well, I'm going to drop down that plus sign. My second x is a negative 3. Uh-oh, well, that's a plus and a minus. That doesn't cancel out. So that's just basically 7 minus 3, which is 4. 4, do not forget to always divide by the 2 because we're basically putting it in half. 4 divided by 2, I know it's a hard one, is 2. There's my x value of my midpoint, right? So I'm going to put that, let's see, mm, over here, 2, comma. I'm going to leave that blank because I don't know what my y value is, All right? Sorry if the video is kind of weird, like uh, moving back and forth and stuff. Um, okay, my first y value, I'm just going to circle this one, is 2. So I'm just going to write 2. My second y value is 8. The second y value of my other coordinate point is 8. So there's my 2. I'm going to drop down my plus. Well, there's no minus sign, so it doesn't cancel out. That's basically just 2 plus 8, which is 10. 10, don't forget to divide by the 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. I just found out the midpoint coordinate pair of those two points, 2 comma 5. That is my final answer, okay? So basically, to sum it up, I have two endpoints, 7 comma 2, negative 3 comma 8, I need to find the point that is in the, on the middle of that line. Between those two points, there's a line. What's the middle of that line? Well, I'll use my midpoint formula. Used my two x values, x, I'm sorry, 7 and negative 3, which is basically minus. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 2, or following the formula, is 2. And that's where I put my x value right there. Same thing with the y's. 2 and 8, well, I'm going to add those together because there's no minus sign, that's 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. My final answer is 2 comma 5, all right? So guys, um, I will uh, create a clever.com assignment for you guys, and uh, I will have it open tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow is Tuesday. Um, it's open like at 7 o'clock a.m. Uh, 10 questions, I think, 10 or 11 only, and then, uh, so if you guys complete that by the end of the week, and then I'm also going to put on our Google Classroom either a link or something for the quizzes. You remember quizzes, right? The uh, online game. Um, there is a midpoint formula quizzes that I want you guys to do. So this week, there's only two assignments. One on Clever, one on quizzes. And it's just basically everything that we've done there, okay? Uh, of course, please email me or Google Classroom me if there's any issues or any questions. On Thursday, we have our first scheduled Zoom meeting. I might not do a lot of Zoom meetings. I, I like this format, and you guys just contact me. Um, we'll see how that goes. And I think that's it. Ten minutes exactly. Thank you guys so much. All right, I look forward to seeing the progress. Bye.